Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where I'm pleased to be joined by Fabio Cavaliere, the rapporteur for question six within ITUT study group 15. Question six is a working group that looks at characteristics of optical components, subsystems, and systems for optical transport networks. Fabio, thanks for joining us. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to illustrate the question six work. Now, as, as end users, you know, we see on our phones 5G, we typically are you know, on the move. Could you explain the importance of um, optical networks to all the services we enjoy today? They're of key importance, but perhaps not uh, that apparent to all users. Yes, the correct. Uh, we all use smartphones in our uh, life, but a uh, few people know that uh, behind this uh, technology, there is a capillary huge infrastructure that is made uh, of uh, optical components, fiber, and system. And this is exactly what uh, question six deal with. And um, what um, happens is that uh, with 5G, uh, the challenges for us became higher and higher because uh, 5G is pushing for uh, new demands in terms of bandwidth new demands in terms of real-time services that uh, uh, decrease the latency. And this, of course, uh, uh, add uh, uh, R&D challenges that are not uh, easy to deal with, and there's also standardization challenges. And um, it is not easy to take this challenge, because uh, in any access segment like the 5G mobile transport, the cost must be low. But uh, uh, it is not easy to keep low the cost in presence of uh, such a formidable complexity that 5G is asking to optical networks. So new topologies, uh, new architectures, uh, new requirements like the need for the network to self-configure. So uh, you need just to plug and play your equipment without any expensive and long configuration. You need to be fast and accurate. And this is the challenge we are uh, taking in, uh, in question six. A standardization can help in this, definitely. All right, and, and question six, the particular role that you play, the, the value that you deliver to industry, could you describe that? Yes, uh, uh, optical, uh, optical systems, uh, as I've said, uh, are uh, uh, the motorway. <laughs> on, on, on which information travel uh, and uh, question six uh, um, take care of standardizing uh, uh, optical equipment for uh, transmission of optical signals so uh, switching the optical signal uh, routing optical signal from one side to the other or to your home <laughs> in some cases and uh, um, of uh, um, putting this all together with the other layer of the networks because there are of course uh, different level of uh, processing that the optical signal must un uh, undergo and you need to take care of the interface with these uh, aspects that are of course taken by other, by other questions. So, um, in, in, in other words, we specify the interface of these optical components toward the optical fibers and between them. Uh, modulators, uh, optical switches, uh, transmitter uh, at 100 gigabit per second or even more today. So we <laughs> and, and what are some of the, the specific areas you work on, the interfaces that your standards address and perhaps also some of the some of the new work you're, you're looking to, to complete. Yes, uh, a recent example is uh, uh, the standardization of 100 gigabit per second uh, dense wavelength division multiplexing system is a complex name but basically means that uh, uh, you use different wavelengths, different colors, uh, so called colors so to transmit uh, uh, different signals on the same fiber so you have a huge aggregate capacity in such a way. And uh, each of these colors, of these wavelengths, has 100 gigabit per second uh, uh, transmission speed. And this is not easy because uh, uh, optical fiber, as any propagation medium, introduces distortion on your signal. You, to you, you need to compensate uh, uh, for this distortion. And of course, this is the first challenge. The uh, second challenge is that you need to compensate uh, for this distortion such a way that uh, 
equipment that belong to different vendors are interoperable each other and this is where the standard question six has a value it was not easy but at the end we succeeded in uh, um, releasing this recommendation and now looking at the future the work is continuing we are looking at the four time higher capacity 400 gigabit per second interfaces and the 800 gigabit per second interfaces and thanks to our uh, optical experts from uh, all countries worldwide i pretty confident we will succeed in that i will thank you very much thank you <laughs> thank you